Hello. Oh, missed you. Despite a near 80-year age gap, Lillian has become four-year-old Mason's second eldest friend, after 102-year-old Sylvia. Apparently, he's been talking about me a lot to his mum. But I think it's the walking stick that's done it. <laughs> he uses it as his gun. I've got a little great-grandson who is just four. But my daughter's in Spain, and my grandson lives all over the world. So I very rarely see my great-grandchildren. I miss them. I, I really miss them. Is that your bed, or is that your bad name? That one's all right. One... Mason makes me feel treasured. You know, it gives me a nice, warm feeling. I don't get it from anywhere else. Four-year-old Sergeant always likes to make a big impression. Sergeant is very playful. He's got this really big character. But it would be nice to see the other side of that, which is, can he relate to somebody? Can he connect with them? Uh, will it develop his softer side? Right. Hey, that's great. Give me a high five. Yay! <laughs> Since joining the nursery, Sergeant has spent time getting to know the older adults. Hello. <laughs> Come back again, Abby. Come back again. Oh, little, little. <laughs> <laughs> is my friend. Dora Howe. Shall we? Yeah. Despite almost a century separating their birthdays, Sylvia and Sargent have found a connection. That way. Yeah, and then collect it on there. I love the children, I really do. I feel honoured that they come and talk to me. They make me feel young. It's raining now, it's raining on my house. There's rain. When I wake up in the morning, I think, oh, I'm going to see the children again this morning. <laughs> And I woke up, I can't get dressed quick enough. <laughs> Wait on your finger, Wait on your finger. Now, now, go up and down like that. This is a prime example of how an intergenerational experiment benefits everybody concerned, both the children and the adults. The older adults are revisiting skills that they might have not used for a long time, where our four-year-olds are on the beginning of their learning journey. It's about those two journeys coming together and both benefiting. With less than 24 hours to go before sports day, there's just enough time to get some last-minute practice in. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's really important that we get our older volunteers moving and taking oh. activities that challenges balance, that challenges their dexterity, that challenges everything about movement, and doing it in a way that is fun, that's competitive, and they can do without thinking about. Can I have a go? Stepping up for the go-getters, Lark Hill's oldest resident. Sylvia, 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 Sylvia. Hey! <laughs> oh, we're going to win. You know, I mean, it's a waste of time for them to go because we're going to win. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going to get them and we'll show them. 